Hey, Composing Gloves here, and today we are going to be talking about intervals. That's right. And in the piano roll, we have we can now start to begin to talk about where these intervals lie in here. So, what is an interval? The interval is the ratio between two notes in like basic terms. So here we have a C, and then we have an E. Now, in sound design, we know that we have a fundamental followed by a harmonic series. If we follow the saw series, which is every harmonic is a multiple of the fundamental, we know that the first fundamental we hear is the fifth, and then the next one's the third. This will explain why we like major chords and why we sort of gravitate towards those. If you, if you can make that connection, great. It's not mega important. But anyways, here we have a C. And it is now we and when we're counting intervals, you always count the the note you're starting on and then you count up. So we have C and then we go up one white note and another white note. So this is three. You always count in scale degrees. We haven't gotten to it yet, but this is a third. It's a little more intuitive in written music because you just count the lines and the spaces. It's really simple that way. But here, we're just looking at what an interval is, and we're specifically, so that's the interval. So if you had like, move it up. Now there's four white notes, because we're in the key, of C, the key of C major, so we're kind of cheating a little bit, but we'll solve this later when we talk about every interval. But we have C to F, and that's a fourth, because we have one, two, three, four. So there's four notes. Now, there are two types. There's the harmonic intervals, when the notes are played at the same time. So here's another. You can have more than one interval going at the same time. This is called a triad because there's three notes. There's tri, three. Now, there's another type called a melodic interval. A melodic interval is when two notes are played in sequence. You're forming a melody. So we could like write out a bunch of things. So this would be considered, now we've, we're ignoring rhythm. We're just looking at intervals. So these are all melodic intervals. Well, I guess you can't ignore rhythms in melodic intervals. So you can't do that, but whatever. You know, we're paying attention mostly to just the fact that they're occurring one after the other. You can have, now we can now break apart these two ideas. So we have harmonic intervals and we can have a bunch of chords moving. And on one scale, all these chords moving form sort of an enormous melodic impression, but it's hugely harmonic. So what I'm saying is like, we could have these. Let's just say we have some notes. Like, I'm not gonna make anything specific. Okay, so let's say that these, this is like, this would be considered a harmonic progression because we're focusing on the harmonies. There's not a lot rhythmically going on here. However, you could argue that this line right here is a melody and it is moving. So you formed a melodic progression based off of like the different ratios and things. Now you enter the a, a world of ideas. Like we haven't even talked about <laughs> the different intervals and what they mean. But when you blow it up, there are all these different forms are on like independent melodies. Like each line is independent. Right? Like we could have something like this going, forming independent melodic content. And there are ideas where we want four of these going at the same time, where they're all independent, but they still sound pleasing. And then there's a version of it where they do that, but they also put emphasis on forming harmonic patterns as we go. And there's just all these different things that breaks off into all these crazy variations. And so that's kind of, that's the compositional process is doing that. And all these different forms emphasize different structures and sort of guidelines to accomplish that end goal. If you don't follow these guidelines, you're going to accomplish some other goal. And someone's just made a name for that. And so when people say rules, it's like, well, I mean, yeah, there are things that you just don't do because if you do that, then you're doing something else, like by definition. So not necessarily create a block, it's just you're doing something else. So it's, you know, it's, it's, that's the thing. If you have any questions, let me know about harmonic or melodic intervals, because that's what we're talking about. So hopefully you got that idea like clear. It's the same time versus uh, one after the other. Subscribe and have a blessed day. Wild, 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 wild,